guys, Colin Gwynn here with 3DR. Welcome to the how-to video series on Solo, the world's first smart drone. In this video, we're gonna take a look at getting it out of the box, charging up the batteries, and getting ready to go fly. So let's get started. Inside the box here, we've included a basic carry case that you can use to get Solo around easily. So let's go ahead and open that up and see what's inside. First, you'll notice Solo right on top with the battery right here, ready to be pulled out to charge. Let's go ahead and set Solo aside for now. Under that, you've got the foam protector that covers the fully assembled, ready to go Solo controller. So let's go ahead and take that out. Then there's these two internal boxes. One that says start here, that contains your setup guide, propellers, and a charger for the controller. The other box contains the battery charger for Solo. It'll take about an hour or so to charge your battery, so let's go ahead and get that going now. To charge the battery, simply take the Solo battery charger, open up the cap here, grab the battery, plug it in. There's only one way you can do it, so don't worry. You'll see the indicator lights here, letting you know the battery's charging. Once these lights turn off completely, you'll know you're fully charged up. So we'll set that aside, grab our controller. There's a plug on the side of the controller, plug it in. You'll see it says charger connected on the screen, and you can set that aside as well. While those batteries are charging, let's go ahead and pull out our four propellers. You'll notice we have two with silver caps and two with black. Before we put them on, let's go ahead and remove these little stickers here that show you which way to tighten the silver propellers versus the black ones. The silver cap propellers go on the motors with the silver dot. These are standard threaded, so you simply turn them clockwise to tighten just like anything else. The black dot propellers, on the other hand, are reverse threaded. Therefore, we're actually gonna turn these counterclockwise to tighten them. We do this so that while you're flying, the propellers are always tightening themselves. It's also not a bad idea to go ahead and make sure each one is nice and tight before you take off. The next thing we're gonna do is go ahead and get our GoPro in place. You wanna make sure that the HDMI port lines up with the hole in the GoPro frame and make sure the GoPro frame is undone here. Go ahead and slide in the GoPro, clamp it in, grab the HDMI cable, plug it into the side of the GoPro, that's what's gonna give us our live feed from the GoPro to your mobile app. Finally, once your solo battery is fully charged, simply click it into place like this. Well, there you go. That's how easy the setup is with solo. Next, we'll do the initial software update, which is super easy, and we're gonna walk you through it in the next video. Then, we'll go out and find a nice open field to do our first few flights in. All right, we'll see you then.